Hi guys, I'm Allie Krieger. I play for the Orlando Pride and I am here hanging out in DC at the PL Mornings Live. All right, Allie, you're wearing a Chelsea <laughs> jersey. Tell us how you're a Chelsea fan. Um, I've been a huge Chelsea fan the, in my life. I think when I first started when I was 16 and I had my first Premier League experience, my club team, we actually won the regional championship. And then this company called International Academy was able to bring us over to England to have kind of a, a nine, ten day training camp uh, at the Chelsea grounds with the Chelsea youth coaches. And then we went to a game, we went to the fan fest, and um, we also went to the fan store and just had this whole experience, like game day. And I thought that was so cool. And, um, that was really our first experience because we didn't have much access when I was growing up to the Premier League. So I think now it's just so exciting to see how well it's grown. And, I've been such a big fan since. Since you got that access with the Premier League, yeah. what does the Premier League mean to you, and what what kind of, what does it just hold in your heart and mind? I really enjoy watching good football, and I really love watching good players play the game and um, learning from them, and also just seeing uh, the different tactic, tactics and formations and technical abilities that. The, um, coaches bring together uh, in their plan for different teams and different styles of play and I think I just learn a lot watching and um, you know no matter if I'm a player or just using that for my coaching so I think it's just really exciting to see and um, it really has brought a lot of us in the U.S. together to be able to have that access just as fans and um, also foes and just enjoying uh, really good soccer together. How often do you get to watch the Premier League? I watch it every weekend. I wake up, I look forward to it, I make my coffee and um, you know when we we obviously don't have games so uh, in the off season so that's nice to be able to have more time but in season I make sure no matter where I am whatever coast whatever country um, I'm definitely watching it and, and staying in touch with with everything going on that weekend. Today we couldn't be more happy to have you at our fan fest. Talk to us a little bit about what this fan fest was like, how people should definitely take opportunity coming here and like Really, we're in D.C. Yeah. Talk about D.C. Oh, it's amazing that the Fan Fest is here in D.C., in my hometown. I think that it's so exciting to see so many fans really uh, stand behind, you know, the Premier League uh, and also their individual teams. And it's just exciting to see what, you know, soccer can do to bring people together. And it's nice that, you know, the, the Premier League is uh, Mornings Live is now traveling around to kind of, you know, get uh, people excited and motivated and inspired to continue to uh, watch the Premier League and, and be fans. And I think it's it's really great to see that our country follows the Premier League and is, is soccer is getting bigger in our country. And that's just exciting to see and to be a part of the Fan Fest in DC for one of the first Premier League mornings. Live is incredible and I'm so honored to be here and, and, and meet everyone and just have the same experience because I love it that much. I'm so passionate about, about soccer and it's just nice to be around with other people who are just as passionate. What was your favorite moment from today? I think re meeting Rebecca, that was just, she's incredible and I watch her every weekend and I just think the world of her. I think she's so excellent at what she does and um, and she's just beasting it with, uh, you know, in the men's game and um, just so, like, just women power. I think she's just someone that I think we can all look up to um, and she's done such a great job and she's incredible to listen to. She's intelligent um, and she's so good at her job and it's just such a joy watching her and learning from her and um, just meeting her was, was probably my highlight. I was so excited for that. Thank you.